Let's see if this elementary school has anything for us. Darn it, nothing at all. That is okay, because we're not giving up that easy. Hello frugal friends. So Mimi and I are back from our whirlwind vacation in Seattle and we are, well first recovering from our vacation and getting everything put back together and getting ready for the kids to start school this week. Oh boy, Mimi's going to be in school full time. All of the kids will be in school full time, which is crazy and super exciting. So we have a lot to get done. So I did not go dumpster diving today, but luckily I recorded some extra footage at some of our local public schools diving a couple of weeks ago, so you have that to enjoy today. Here we go. Let's see. Some recycling bins here. Can always use more boxes, like good boxes for shipping. But it's also a place you want to look for books and paper products and newspapers for various purposes, of course. So you're gonna find coupons. July, darn it. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna find coupon inserts and there are, well, there's myriad other uses for, uh, let's see, that's too late, for, um, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm looking while I'm trying to talk. Uh, but anyway, I use newspaper as weed suppressant, and of course it's good to have some around for when you're camping. So if you've got access to recycling bins, definitely check them, up, check them out. So this is a park dumpster, and you can tell people have been dumping. Definitely. I stopped over here because I saw the carpet, and I wanted to grab it for my garden, for weed suppressant, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to get that out. Even with Lulu helping, I really don't see us being able to get that out of there. Bummer. And then there's a recycling bin, we might as well check it. Lots of newspapers, a couple of good boxes, some magazines, a Nike box. Oh, that's about it. So yeah, definitely check up park dumpsters as well. You never know what you're going to find, but especially for things like uh, residential dumping. That happens at your park bins all summer long. This is a high school. Let's see. Boy, I had a lot of pizza. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But this is that same high school that is going to be torn down. And so there are some big dumpsters over here. May as well go and take a look, see what is uh, being thrown away in them. Well, this is not surprising, though sad. Whole bunch, I mean, a whole bunch of perfectly good desk chair combinations. These are worth a fortune. <sighs> Remember when I brought you guys here before and this whole um, quad area was full of furniture and we were wondering what was gonna happen to it? You can see a bunch of piles of the desk chair combos over there. Anyway, and I said, well, most likely they're all gonna get chucked. Well, what has happened, uh, I know there were some that did in fact, oh, there's a bee that will not leave me alone, or a wasp. Um, dang it, he will not leave me alone. Uh, anyway, I, I did see some getting taken away on big trucks, which was good, because it was gonna end up somewhere other than the landfill. But obviously, what we see right here a lot of it is just 
going bye bye into your local landfill. So that is incredibly unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to post them on local community pages and I'm going to let people know that these are here if they need them for uh, schools that, you know, private schools or charter schools or home schools or daycare or whatever, I'm going to let them know that these are here. And then other intrepid hunters and pickers can come and salvage them. So then hopefully not all of it will go to waste. But this is just, this is sadness galore. This is tax dollars at work. They're tearing this school down and building a new one, not on this site, but elsewhere. And for whatever reason, they've decided that these perfectly good desks and chairs will not be going with them. So there's another bin at the same school. A whole bunch of posters, boxes, CAD mechanics, some kind of tote. Uh, like a paper recycling bucket thing. Bunch of metal garbage cans. Okay, two metal garbage cans. We'll definitely grab those. We can use them as planters. We can scrap them. We'll see. Yes, they have garbage in them. That is not a problem. We can dump that out. All right. That's about it. Look at all these ridiculous plastic water bottles. There's a recycling bin just across the way over there. But let's just put them all in here because we couldn't walk over there. Oh, people. People just don't like to think about the future or their responsibility toward the future. I don't know what that is. East Point Sports? Is it a, a game of some kind? It's got little stand things there. What is this, guys? I really can't tell. Maybe I'll look it up real quick, just, just in case. Another public school. Check the recycling. Lots and lots of magazines. Fine home building, March 2002. You know, I think we might have to look some of these up. Because some magazines, guys, there are some that are worth grabbing and selling. There really are. What's this one from? Uh, it's issue number 35. That's pretty neat, huh? Wish it showed a year. I'm not seeing a year anywhere. <sighs> Some coupons, good dates, so we'll grab those. Okay. anything in here. Uh, cardboard. This is the bin where we found all of that dumping the other time <clears throat> and there ended up being those really nice designer jeans and a whole bunch of scrubs, stuff like that. Uh, a tote, a couple of, a couple of totes. Might be something in these bags. Boy, it smells terrible, though. Oh, it smells bad. Uh, there's a book right there for sure. We might have to look at it a little bit, but oh, it smells. 
Last time we came to this public school, we found all the beads and crafting stuff and all of those Kool-Aid packets. Let's see, we've got some books in there. We'll grab those for sure. There's some magazines, some boxes, some packing material here. Some folders, some accordion folders, nothing in them. So we'll grab the books from there. And there is nothing in here this time, but that's okay because we're going to get those books. So I never like when people, especially schools, throw books away. But I guess we can at least say that they, you know, they put them in the recycling. At least there's that. Anyway, several Disney books. You know we love Disney. Look at this. Mercer Mayer. Come on. That's fantastic. We got to give a mouse a cookie. And I was worried. Ooh, the day the crayons quit. That's good stuff. And that's, that's in great shape. That is in fabulous condition, you guys. Look at that. Okay, um, but anywho, I'm glad we were able to find them. I'm glad they at least, you know, put them in the recycling. But yeah, I was worried because it had rained that if we found stuff like this that they'd be destroyed, especially because that bin was wide open, lids weren't closed, but these are perfectly fine. Look at this. Lots of great Disney. This one, I mean, that's just in fantastic condition. So super duper happy. That is a fabulous find. We'll most likely keep those for ourselves. And Olivia, Miss Olivia, decided she wanted those accordion files. They're in perfectly good condition, and she says she's going to decorate them. So I'm going to give one to my friend, maybe this one. Yeah, make one for her best friend, have one for her. And this will be a great way to keep track of things like homework, school stuff, whatever, as she is going into junior high. And since we can't carry around backpacks, I'm going to put on the top of this, I'm going to tie like a little uh, rope or something so that it can be like a little purse. Oh, yeah, and we then, might be able to figure something out. And then I can get all my stuff out. Okay, awesome. Well, stay tuned. We'll see what ends up happening with those. Another elementary school. And there's a whole bunch of metal right there. But where this school has recently been doing a bunch of remodeling, I'm wondering if that isn't something they're going to still be using. We'll see if it's still here next weekend. If it is, then I will feel more comfortable about grabbing it. Uh, cardboard, a little bit of metal. Yeah, there's some metal scrap in there. This is all grass clippings. There's some dumping right here. Uh, looks like socks, a hat, some jeans, a sleeping bag. Interesting. Someone might be living here. I better leave this alone. It's got like food supplies in it. So that might actually be someone's, I don't know. Uh, nice big table base here. If nothing else, that's good metal scrap. Hmm. All right. Looks like that's about it. Definitely metal scrap is probably the best, the best of this. Not terribly exciting, but hey, it's something. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure about this situation here. I'm going to leave it for now just because there, there were baby wipes. I, in fact, I feel like I'm violating someone's privacy even looking in here but yeah baby wipes and cokes and soups and water bottles so we'll just go ahead and leave that for now this is a high school looks like it's all yard waste there more yard waste not every week is going to be amazing unfortunately uh, an old tv and lots of garbage big bag of popcorn uh, you got to just try not to get too discouraged right away because, like I said, this, and I've said it many times, this is a numbers game, and the more places you're willing to hit, the better, you know, the more lucrative your picks are going to be. Uh, let's see. Uh, bummer. 
So here are the books we ended up with. We've got Meet My Baby Brother, uh, Su Voz y Sus Sonidos, Just a School Project, Mercer Mayer, love Mercer Mayer, Lion King, 102 Dalmatians, Toy Story, Buddy, the first seeing eye dog, if you give a mouse a cookie. I don't know how many copies of this book we have found over the years. My goodness. Prince and the Pauper. Actually, I think we already have this one. The Day the Crayons Quit. It's a good one, and it's in really decent condition. There's, you know, a couple little things here and there, like a little thing right there, but for the most part, pretty good. And then this big one, The Lion King. So not bad at all. Super happy with what we found in there. Special thanks to our Patreon patrons. Every dollar that you pledge each month goes straight into our gas tank, making the mission of saving and salvaging possible. If you are interested in donating in this way and contributing to the mission, go ahead and look in the video description for links to Patreon and our other social media. Have a great day, guys.